Hello and welcome to Witness, where we bring you personal documentaries from around the world. I'm Rida Fakhri. When we think about Rwanda in Central Africa, it's the 1994 genocide that so often comes to mind. Close to a million people are thought to have perished during those awful events. But today's Witness takes a fresh look at Rwanda and one of the projects that is taking the story forward. Kiki Katezi, a visionary theater director, saw the psychological burdens that many Rwandan women still bear and invited some of them to join a drumming circle as a form of self-expression. It became the country's first all-women's drumming troupe, offering safety and healing to women from both sides of the conflict. Then, in 2009, Kiki visited the United States and met the two women who run the Blue Marble Ice Cream Shop in Brooklyn, New York. Kiki recognized that ice cream could be both a symbol of joy in a country emerging from tragedy and a way to create much-needed jobs for women still struggling with the legacy of genocide. She invited the Blue Marble women to help the drummers open the country's first ever local ice cream shop. Brother and sister filmmakers Lisa and Rob Fruchtman bring us this unique Rwandan story in Sweet Dreams. it means a new drum and also a new kingdom and this is also what we wanted we wanted to, to propose a new chapter in the history of Katani Rwanda a new era in the ancient time women were not even allowed to touch the drum because even the drum were not performed for everybody in the country it was only for the, the king and women could not approach this space, which were exclusively for men. I went to the National Museum and asked someone, because I was saying maybe if it was forbidden, maybe there was a good reason. And I needed to know this reason, and there was no reason. They said, no, it's because it's heavy. They can't <laughs> hold it. And uh, I said, OK, if it's only because it was heavy, then let's see how strong we are. Ambaritera, umuganda kwe kwa makunya ne vidi zukwa kani. Ninga yari gita njira hanu yao icharu. Tukarugo kubeka buta hujari yari nawe. Nimuru kubio yena shobo ye kuba nara nara ba shije kuba ho. Ina ambara ino ya tanyo kwa makunya vidi zukwa kani. Ino ba tanyo vichani. Watu kwa makunya vidi nari mo. Na nhori ro ubo e idio shoro na watu kwa ri kwa garani. Mbese hawa ikinu chogu tanu kana mwabandu bose. Jewe nza hano mwabuku. Uweko ya kwa rumu kwa kumaza kuwa hafi yurugo. Ngwale uko yuri mwujendi. Mwala mga tiwe yu ujie mwabuku. Nyo nyo nzi watu. Ugo. Nda kumaza nda hawa. Ugo rachia nda hiri. Ugo nisi na mwona. Nza kumye kuwa mwishwe sa mwunani. Ya mawu. Mwami uche. Ali mama nukaza kundewa. Wana nari mbafiti. Nada bami ni kuko baadhi mara kumi cha baara amhi zenaji kuko yao 
ugira umuntu wabaga ukomunikana n'abatutsi bavuga ko nawe uri ikitso waramiga ariko aho bamwitse hama minister atakiharambitse abantu barambira ngo ninze mpamo kuri imbwa zitamurye ngiye abantu bahise basanga nange kunyica nuko ntwara umwana nari mfite ubwo noneho ndagira kugeza umaze kubona ko bimpa umunezero bimpa kwisanzura kaje mu bitekerezo byo kuba abana se bahuza iki bafite iki ariko najya mu bandi tukugiye kuvuza ingoma ukabona nkumva ndishimye of division, of fear, of hatred, and we were proposing a space where people will feel safe again. And where women, especially we were not giving a lot of space and opportunities and chances, could have these opportunities with Ingomarsia. What happened in this country, it was a crime against humanity, and I think that's this humanity is, is broken, is in pieces, and we need to rebuild it again. We need to rebuild the human being, and only human beings can do that. I met Kiki at Sundance Institute. She approached me and she said, I understand you have an ice cream shop. I want to talk to you about ice cream. She was really looking for ways to enliven the spirits of people in general in her community. Kiki just thought that ice cream symbolizes joy and that her town needed an ice cream shop for the happiness of people there. And the women that she worked with also needed jobs and that there was a great opportunity there. Okay. Now they both want a rainbow, is that the fun? I think there is an urgent need to have a space free when you can renew yourself. Especially in Rwanda where people are broken. We have many bodies moving, only bodies, and inside it's somehow, it's, it's dead. They need again to learn everything that could help to make them smile, even cry, to, to regain this sensitivity because when you have these huge things falling on you, you don't care about anything because the most important thing, this is life, I've been killed. Kiki's hope is that through the ice cream shop, we create some new memories and we create some new traditions with families and in a very small way start to rebuild this sense of enjoyment of life and all the things that were lost when these when these humans perished essentially <laughs> You and me, we, we are the arms and legs of that dream. So she imagines it, and we're the ones that really will make it move. I'm very proud to be your partner in this exciting business, and I really, really believe in our success. Your project in Zozinziza, Tago Tatus Connor to Zai, but I have got Besamit Kwebe, Yaba Hinzo Zimukako Yit Kako. This Ah, 
When you form a cooperative, and then we add you as they call shareholders, the cooperative will be a part owner of the business. So we have Jenny and Alexis and Ngoma Shah together as partners creating Nzazinziza. Here are these women, they were drummers, they were performers, and now we wanted to kind of translate those skills and that energy into a business setting. Join me again after the break for more on this unique project in Rwanda, here on Witness. Welcome back to Witness. Sweet Dreams is a story from the new Rwanda, a journey of recovery and transformation. Women who've begun their emotional recovery with a drumming circle are now beginning their economic recovery by opening a local ice cream shop bringing hope and change to their community. What's happened with the ice cream shop? It was ice cream. It's so far from their lives. But now they know that they have a certain power. They know that they can achieve things. Muri rusangire dusangara ibyo kuko ingoma nshya 
ariyo izagira iyo shop inzozi nziza abantu bayigize hafi abose na bahuye n'ibibazo by'intambara ama bapfakazi benshi harimo impfubyi nyinshi kandi zitagira aho zikora urumva ikizere turagifite kuko nta nta proje nimwe iyikora hano muri butari turumva ko kubera kwihutira kubikora kandi tukabikora neza boya service nziza niza na bakiriya iwo no mugambi dufite mu gihe bo bitarabageraho unawo baba bibi akazi muri bo proje mbese kabiyatu muri rusange tuyishora mimari kandi kandi ya mari kongera ikatugabukira Nobody <laughs> 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 Obviously, there's a ton of resiliency here in terms of what they've endured and, and how they've kind of emerged from that. But in terms of bringing something new and, and encouraging them to dream and encouraging them to, to take risks, if we really pump them up and then all of a sudden this falls flat, it could be pretty devastating. So there's a lot of pressure on our end, I think, to make this work. All we can do really is to equip them with these skills and with the confidence to run this business on their own and succeed with it. We will use these pots to pasteurize the milk. Big. Okay. <laughs> All right. We are a country of milk and honey, they say. And imagining that there, there are people, even the women drummers, there should be someone who is 40 years and never, never, never taste an ice cream. I remember. No teeth, no teeth. Just your tongue. You just. You, you made this. It's good. You made it. I'm seeing her around. I see her now. Only it's your Njita. In English, small, small, medium, medium, large. And for a theta. One, two, three.
akabona ko akane cyangwa kwa gatanu n'uko bashaka imodoka So who are our three announcers? Aro aro abanyabutare muratumiwe muratumiwe mwese muze mwihera amaso ya 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 ni muze mwihera amaso ngo ino wirire kuri ice cream children from the childhood and when everything you ask something you want something it's no you want the swimming pool no you want this no because we can't afford this also and then someone grows and say no to everything every wish you have you say no no you even you don't even try and trying is very important <laughs> I mean, when you believe that something is possible, it's done already. truly uplifting story of women finding innovative ways to deal with the mental scars of genocide. Thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me again next time here on Witness. <laughs>